world weather knows no boundaries. Observations of its behavior are freely exchanged among nations. Some 130 nations participate in the World Meteorological Organization. Observations are reduced to a standard international code, and at specific times each day are fed into a worldwide computerized network. Analyzing these international observations from the World Wide Weather Network and making accurate forecasts for all the seas and waterways of the world is the mission of the United States Naval Weather Service Command. Somewhere in the world's oceans, almost every day, a storm is brewing. Satellite pictures give a perspective to a weather situation, the view from outer space. From up there, cloud formations often reveal the first inkling of a storm. All right, Giovanni, cut it. But as observers, the satellites do not give us any measurement of precipitation, pressure, or wind velocity. The Navy's Satellite Central uses readouts from two basic satellite systems. Nah, I just don't see it in that picture. Jumping the gun is as bad as missing the boat. There's this system here in the central Atlantic. Today's forecast always depends on what happened yesterday and the day before. It's slowing itself up. The only one really in question seems to be the one in the western Gulf of Mexico. It's just too early to tell on that one yet. When the latest pictures are totally analyzed, the daily satellite bulletin is issued. The actual satellite pictures are also transmitted to other agencies and the Naval Weather Centrals. Jim, is that low in the western Atlantic still deepening? Yes, sir, Commander. The, the uh, satellite pictures we received this morning indicates uh, a deepening on. The Air Force Automated Weather Network collects observations from the worldwide system. To keep from duplicating lines of communication, these observations are automatically passed on, computer to computer. The Navy Fleet Numerical Weather Central is a vast mass of strangely silent boxes of electronic circuitry. This one Navy Numerical Center checks the data. Very few inaccuracies get by the cold and calculating circuit. The computers organize, analyze, and store 4,000 bits of information a minute and transmit it at the same never lagging speed 24 hours a day. This, the Navy Numerical Center, is where the action isn't to solve the problems where the action is. It looks like that low should be moving northward, but you still have that box. Well, what's high the pressure there? tendency at Sable Island? The coded data from the Numerical Center received by the Weather Centrals is sliced off and reorganized to tell all that is known of weather throughout that particular Weather Central area. Unaffected by human thought and untouched by human hand, the Weather Central computer designs a weather analysis hard copy. With the aid of a very sophisticated translator, the computers also provide plain language information. The CAT unit, as it's called, stores the 4,000 bits of never-ending information and lays it out for the radio teletype or RAT unit, a sort of cat and mouse operation that puts it into language suitable for human comprehension. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you. Our latest analysis shows a little better circulation than the earlier satellite pictures did that we received this morning. I think we must be concerned with this uh, area in the Gulf. How's that going to affect our towing operation out of Key West, Jim? Today, we're, our forecast went out uh, on our WEACs to the tow, giving uh, good weather for today with uh, good towing conditions. Towing operations are especially vulnerable to winds and high seas. The tug is limited to speeds of about three to five knots, with no chance to outrun a storm. These tugs receive a special weather forecast every six hours, and more if necessary. The report, called a WEAX, is especially made up by Weather Central for any requesting ship in the we area. We uh, 20 ships on OTSR this morning. Now, if this wave should deepen, right in here now, should deepen and move on up into the, off the east coast. We have a ship from Amsterdam coming across the top, which could get involved with it. OTSR is the terminology for optimum track ship routing, a special service for ships on routes over 1,500 miles. OTSRs 
can be obtained on request and are based on long-range forecasts of sea and weather, balanced against the type of ship and its cargo. A cargo of delicate equipment might, in a storm, receive a recommended course change, while a cargo of cotton or grain might do better riding out the storm. These OTSRs have a commendable record of saving time and avoiding damage. The merchant ship now loading in Norfolk uh, has requested OTSR routing to uh, Rhoda. I think with the PBA Max off of Carolina as indicated on the vorticity charts, and it being in a good cyclogenesis area, this ship's departure time could be affected. Yes, that PVA max could cause the low to deepen considerably. Yes, I think it would. We should look for a change in departure time. Well, we got an option. We can uh, send him out a day later, or we may try to get him out earlier. As we've said, he's fast, and he may be able to outrun anything that may develop. A carrier can take 12-foot seas and close to 50-knot wind still continue normal operations. Many of the Navy's larger ships are equipped to take direct readouts from the weather satellites overhead. When a satellite makes its pass over the ship's position, the tracking antenna locks into an automatic follow. The 10-minute pass produces about four pictures, sufficient to show what's out there several hundred miles beyond the horizon. Ship position and grid lines must be established on each picture. How is Channel 8 coverage? Fine, sir. Here's the latest plot as of 0700 this morning. Channel 8, a radio teletype circuit, is dedicated exclusively to weather. Its coded information is generally converted into a handmade map relating weather to the immediate local area. Here's the latest computer right now. Here's the latest satellite readout. Thank you. Is that the latest product on the machine? Yes, sir. It'll be through in about five minutes. For the larger ships, these facsimiles are the primary source of weather information and are received 24 hours a day. They originate at the area Weather Central, where optical scanners transmit direct to the ship any chart made by the computer or drawn by hand. A new computer system generates and transmits a facsimile in a totally electronic process. In this direct computer to fleet transmission, weather centrals merely monitor the output on high-speed plotters and check each chart for accuracy and legibility. However, all handmade material still requires the optical scanner.